Hi, I'm Mike, and I'm here to show you how to create your very first Snapchat filter. So in these tutorials, we'll be going over how to create a beauty or aesthetic lens. So we're keeping it pretty simple with this first lens. We don't want to do anything crazy, but the goal of this is just to show you kind of how Lens Studio works and provide you the resources so that you can continue learning and make whatever sort of lens you want. Now, Snapchat filters, aka lenses, are created using a piece of software called Lens Studio. So the first thing you want to do is head over to the Lens Studio website and download it. Now, once you've downloaded and installed Lens Studio, the only other piece of software you'll need for this tutorial series is some sort of image editor. I personally use Affinity Photo, but you can also use something like Photoshop or Lightroom. Now, I know a lot of people use GIMP as their image editor. I do not recommend that for this tutorial series, as we'll see later on. So another free alternative would be Photo-P. Once you open up Lens Studio, you'll be greeted by this home screen. Now, for these tutorials, I'm using version 4.4.1. It's very possible that there'll be a newer version uh, when you're watching these videos. Never try to download an older version of Lens Studio. I just grabbed the current version. They are very good at not making any drastic changes. So they're always adding features, but for the most part, they'll never rename or change anything around. So these tutorials uh, will translate very well into future versions of Lens Studio. One thing you'll notice here are a lot of awesome templates. I definitely encourage you to check those out. But for these tutorials, we're just going to start with a blank project. We'll come over here and click on new project. Let's take a quick look at how Lens Studio is laid out. Over here at the top left is the objects panel. This is where we will define our scene. Down here at the bottom left is the resources panel. And this is where we will be adding things like image textures. Here in the middle is our main scene. Now over here on the right, we have the inspector panel. Now this defines various properties for each object in the scene. Now all the way on the right, we have the preview panel. Now all of these panels, you can actually click the title and drag and move it around somewhere. So if you want to reorganize the window, feel free to do that. Uh, if you do get lost or lose a panel, you can go to panels, go to default layout, and it'll reset everything just like this. 